All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with a new set of exercises for you to practice and complete. And we break it down for you into four different sections. So today we are going to be working in the May cardio section <clears throat> where we really focus on our basic skills. At the top here is a little video that gives you a little synopsis of what's going on in Craig's world that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz that relates to what you just saw at the video up above. And then further down are all of the exercises within that section. So today we are going to practice receiving payments. <clears throat> You will need to be in the sample company. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or how to get your own free QBOA account, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. So our scenario today is pretty simple. Craig received three checks since you last visited, and so you need to apply them to their outstanding invoices. To do this, we're gonna need to grab a copy of those checks. It can be found in a link underneath the cardio video um, back in the gym. So let's go ahead and grab those first. Here I am back in the gym. Here is that animated video. Underneath here, you see this little button that says checks. Go ahead and click on that. And the download has appeared for you. Here are the three checks. <clears throat> so the first one that we're gonna start with is Amy's Bird Sanctuary, which is check number 142 for $239. That's this one right here. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is click on the plus new button and then select receive payment. So here I am in the sample company. This is the dashboard. At the top here, click on this plus new button. And then under customers, you're going to select receive payment. And you will see this form appear. So let's go ahead and fill it out. In the customer field, we're going to select Amy's Bird Sanctuary. So let's do that. If you click into it, you will see she's actually right there on the top since uh, it goes by alphabetical order. So go ahead and click on Amy's Bird Sanctuary and you will see um, <clears throat> the invoice that is outstanding for her up here. So in the payment method, we need to select check and then in the reference number field, we're going to put 142 because that is the check number. So let's go ahead and do that in the payment method. Click the arrow and then click on check. The reference number is again that check number, so type in 142. And this deposit to is the undeposited funds, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, undeposited funds is kind of like a holding account until the check is physically um, uh, deposited into the bank. So undeposited funds is a great place for us to put that right now. Um, and then one final note here, it's not on the check, I was just double checking here. There's no date, but um, the date that you would receive this, you would actually put right here in that payment date. I'm going to leave it as is uh, for the purposes of this exercise, um, but just so you know, in real life, that's what you would want to do. Dates are very important. And then we're going to check the box for invoice 1021. Um, because that is what it was paid for. So go ahead and click on that. You will see that this was the original invoice amount and here is that open balance of $239, which is exactly how much Amy had sent over to us. Um, so we are all done with this particular um, uh, payment, this receiving payment form. So we're going to go ahead and process the additional checks by clicking on the save and new button. So we are good with this one. Click on the little arrow down here and click on save and new. And that payment, that receipt payment has been, um, <clears throat> has been uh, captured for us. Now we're going to take a look at Paulson Medical Supplies who sent us a check number 00036 for $854.75, which you will see right here. So let's go ahead and start this one as well by filling out the form. In the customer field, we're going to select Paulson Medical Supplies. So go back up here, click into the customer profile. You can either scroll down to find them or you can start typing in 
uh, Paulson, and there they are, Paulson Medical Supplies. Go ahead and click on that, and you will see the outstanding invoice for them up here as well. Um, we are going to put in the payment method check, and then the reference number is again that check number, 00036. So click here, that arrow, to get check. Click on check. And then the reference number is again is 00036. Um, and it is supposed to be deposited to that undeposited funds. Again, that is the holding account until we actually make the deposit at the bank. We are going to check on the box for invoice 1015, which is what they had sent it for. So go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that it's automatically changing it to $954.75 because that is what the open balance is for that invoice. But if we take a look at the check here, you will see that it is for $854.75. So what is uh, so it's $100 less than what is actually owed on the invoice. It's very possible that they worked out something, some kind of arrangement outside of this um, with Craig or that they maybe just made a mistake when cutting the check. Either way, you need to make sure that Craig knows about this and that you receive some direction on how to handle it. For our purposes, we are going to apply the full payment and leave the $100 owing on the accounts. So in the amount field, we're going to adjust it so that it says $854.75 because that is what the check is for. And then it's automatically going to adjust the payment on the invoice. So up here, this amount received, click into it and you type in $854.75. If you tab over, you will see that that has been adjusted there. And it's showing here that the payment um, is that $854.75, even though the open balance is still $954.75. Um, so now we have one more check to process. So we're just going to simply save and new. So click on the green save and new button. And that received payment has been uh, applied and saved. So now we have to do one more, which is for Sun and Shine Family Store. They sent a check number. 1053810 for $362.07, which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and fill out this form for them. In the customer field, we're going to select their name. So up here, click into the customer field, and then um, again, start typing in their uh, the customer name. You will see it populate here, click on it and you will see the invoice that's outstanding for them. Um, the open one um, is appearing for us. Again, in the payment method field, we're going to select check, and then the reference number is that uh, check number. So here is the arrow to select into here, click on check, and then the reference number, it was 105-3810. Undeposited funds, again, that needs to be selected for right now, which is perfect. And then we are going to click on the box next to invoice 1037. So click on that. Again, that check that they sent was for $362.07. And you will see here that that is what the open balance is. So everything has been matched up perfectly. So now we are simply just going to save and close. Click on the little arrow. Click on save and close. And now you have saved that one as well. And you are all done processing, receiving payment for all of those checks. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the cardio section where we focus on recording a bank deposit. And I will see you in the next video.